Good morning, Intertubers. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So usually I do comedy skits. Uh, what I'll do is I'll tag uh, one of my skits up here. So uh, if you're interested in my normal comedy skits, feel free to go take a look at those. I also started a new YouTube series called Media Shoutouts. Basically what that does is it promotes small YouTubers who are still trying to grind it out, finding an audience, but their channels are really, really awesome. But today's video is dedicated to one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, James Lamprey, who is uh, Fun Foods here on YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe to him. He has a lot of really neat recipes. I've tried a few of them and <laughs> they're really, really good. But even though this video isn't one of my normal videos, I wanted to share with you guys my favorite family recipe, which is very simple, budget friendly. We called it poor man's beef stroganoff. One of my favorite things to do is make it in a crock pot, which is not how my family made it because when we grew up, we didn't have a crock pot. In fact, I doubt that crock pots were even invented yet. Don't quote me on that. But it made the recipe all the easier. Uh, so I want to share it with you. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you the finished product and I will also tell you how much it'll cost per serving. So if you want to save money, while at the same time feed an entire family of six, this is for you. All right, let's just dive right in and then I'm gonna show you the ingredients and uh, let's make this thing. Naturally, we have a crock pot, a standard one. You don't have to have anything fancy. Honestly, it's, if you can see that, I'm really gonna just set it between low and high the whole time, so you don't really need anything fancy. I do a basic beef roast, I.O. round roast, uh, and it's only $9.46 for this. And again, it's not a prime cut, but it does the job. You can see I have two cans of condensed cream of mushroom soup, and I have one red onion. So as you can see, this entire recipe really only has three ingredients and whatever seasonings you want to put into it. And this meal will actually provide about six really hearty servings. So we're also going to make pasta at the end to put the beef stroganoff on. It's very budget friendly, very delicious. So let me show you how I put it together. Again, I'm sorry guys, the lighting is off and I'm not really equipped to do cooking videos yet. So, so I apologize for the quality, but how we get started, obviously we need a crock pot. We also need two cans of cream and mushroom soup. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put half a can, after I empty these, I'm going to put a half a can of water. So after I do one can of cream and mushroom soup, I wanna fill this up halfway with some water. I also wanna stir this up so that it becomes an actual soup. This is essentially the bed that I will be putting the roast upon. Now that that is all mixed, I am gonna put the beef roast in. Normally at this point, I would cut the fat off of the roast before I put it in, and uh, but this one doesn't have a whole lot of fat, so I'm not gonna do that. I like to move it around. Oh, make sure you wash your hands before this. I already did before I recorded the video. You wanna roll the roast around, and when it's covered all the way around, we can do the next step. The next step is I am going to cut this onion into one half. When you're done cutting it, before we start slicing this up, you wanna wash this with some water, which I will do off camera. And now basically it's just cutting the onion the way you like to cut your onions. You can't tell on this video, but I'm totally crying right now. At the same time that I want to cut these onions up, I don't want to make them too small because they're going to actually uh, shrink while, uh, during the cooking process. And so it's nice to have chunks of onion after it's finished. And there's really no need to break them apart. Uh, they kind of break apart in the cooking process, so don't worry about that. Then you just basically ziplock the half of the onion that you have left and use it for another recipe. So at this point, we want to go ahead and put the onions into the crock pot. You can go ahead and leave the onions on the roast, but I like to take off the bulk of the onions and mix it in with the soup underneath. Mainly so that it is coated with this mushroom-y goodness. <laughs> 
Now it's time to add the second can. What you want to do is make sure that the second can is coating the top and you want to make sure that some of the coated onions that we just put in also makes it on top. Not all of them, but just some. At this point, I'd like to add some ground pepper. So as you can see, I also added a little bit of oregano, but that's just because I'm a oregano aholic <laughs> but it looks really beautiful. You want to put it on low and you want to cook it for a total of six to seven hours. What's really cool about using a crock pot is that I am now able to spend the next three, four, five hours editing the first part of this video. But unlike Doctor Who, I will take the long way around. I will wait six hours. You, my friends, will only wait one second. All right, so it's been one hour. I am going to go ahead and flip the roast. And the roast is looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and flip this and put all this really cold, juicy goodness on top of it if I can. So like I said, now that it is on low, we are gonna let it simmer there for about five to six hours. So I'll see you here in a little bit. Okay guys, it has now been six hours. And I didn't film this, but once an hour, I would go over to the crock pot and I would flip the roast. It's important to do that so it cooks evenly. I would also stir all the broth and marinate it as I was doing so. But now the meat is nice and tender and we're gonna to have to pull out the roast and start shredding it so that we can mix it in with the broth. So I have already pulled out the roast and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two forks. One, I'm gonna stick it in just to hold it in place. Then the second, I'm gonna shred it just like this. Oh, and before I go any further, this right here, that's one of the onions. This is why I didn't cut the onions too small because I love having this. It helps give it texture, but it also, uh, it just tastes good. It wouldn't be a Snyder family dinner unless I took a little bite. That's so good. So now we're going to put all the shredded beef back into the soup mix and let it simmer there for another 20 minutes. Here it is. Beef stroganoff with shredded beef. So now that the beef is back into the crock pot and it's simmering with the lid on, I am going to be making some pasta to go with it. I'm not going to show me making pasta because that's, that's pretty simple. Basically, bring a water to a boil, cook the pasta either really, really soft or al dente, whichever way you prefer. Oh, and I forgot to introduce the special guest that kept on appearing in our video earlier. Here's the Connor Kitty. Okay, so the pasta is now finished. It took meh, about 10 to 15 minutes to do. I usually cook my pasta on medium heat and let it cook slowly uh, for a couple reasons. The main reason is it gives me time to go around and keep working on my stuff. I have a lot of balls in the air, but this stuff is done. I wanna show it to you. Here is our pasta. I cooked about one pound of pasta. That'll last my wife and I a couple of days. And here is the beef stroganoff, finished in all of its savory goodness. And here is what it looks like plated. And here is my sous chef. So that's it guys, poor man's beef stroganoff, a family recipe, something that's a favorite in our household and it's really cheap to make. Like I said before, the beef roast was only about $9.50. The onion itself was maybe about 60 cents. The pasta was a dollar and there's six servings in this thing and so you're talking probably around $3.50 per meal. Thanks so much for watching guys, I really enjoyed making this. Uh, maybe in the future I'll make more cooking videos, who knows? Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this and if you want me to make more uh, budget-friendly cooking videos like this. I, I have a lot of recipes that have been handed down, but anyway, thanks for watching.